The DJI Air series has been a favorite among drone enthusiasts, balancing portability, performance and price. Now with leaks and rumors about the upcoming DJI Air 4, many are wondering what kind of upgrades can we expect? Will it be a true leap forward or just an incremental update? Today we're diving deep into what's known so far, looking at potential improvements, concerns and whether this drone might be worth the wait. If you're wondering where all these leaks originate, you're not alone. In the world of tech, leaks often come from industry insiders, beta testers, or even accidental product listings. One of the biggest sources for DJI leaks is Jasper Ellens, a well-known name in the drone community. His insights, along with other reliable leakers like Quadro News, have given us glimpses of what might be in store. From leaked prototype images to insider reports, these sources give us a rough idea but nothing is confirmed until DJI makes an official announcement. Still, looking at past leaks, many have turned out to be accurate. So, while we take them with a grain of salt, they help us get an early look at what to expect. From what we've seen in leaked images, DJI seems to be sticking to the Air Series signature compact and foldable design. This isn't surprising, as portability has always been a key factor in the series' appeal. However, there are some notable refinements. The body appears sleeker, possibly more aerodynamic, which could mean better flight efficiency and handling in windy conditions. Another noticeable detail is the rumoured stronger and more durable arms. If true, this could improve stability, particularly for those who fly in challenging environments. One concern is whether these design tweaks might add weight, potentially impacting portability. However, DJI has always been mindful of keeping the Air Series travel-friendly, so any weight increase would likely be minimal. We're also hearing that the Air 4 might share some design elements with the Mavic 4, suggesting a more polished, professional look. Could this mean a step closer to Mavic-level performance? That remains to be seen. Perhaps the most exciting aspect of the DJI Air 4 is its potential camera system. The Air 3 introduced a dual camera setup, and rumors suggest the Air 4 could take this further with larger 1-inch sensors for both its wide-angle and telephoto cameras. If true, this would be a major boost for low-light performance and overall image quality. Larger sensors capture more detail, reduce noise, and provide better dynamic range, essential for photographers and videographers who demand high-quality footage. There's also talk about a variable aperture, which would allow for more control over exposure in different lighting conditions. This feature, if included, would give users the ability to create more cinematic shots, especially during sunrise and sunset when lighting can be tricky. Another rumored addition is a mechanical shutter. This would help eliminate rolling shutter distortion, which is common when capturing fast-moving subjects. It's a feature typically found in high-end drones, so seeing it in the Air series would be a major upgrade. But here's something to think about. Will these camera enhancements lead to a higher price? Advanced features come at a cost, and if DJI goes all out on imaging, the Air 4 might creep closer to the price range of higher-end models like the Mavic series. That could make potential buyers think twice about whether they need these improvements, or if the Air 3 is still good enough for their needs. A great drone isn't just about the camera, it also needs to fly well. The Air 3 is already impressed with solid flight stability and obstacle avoidance, and the Air 4 could push these capabilities further. Leaks suggest that DJI is moving away from multiple wide-angle sensors in favor of a more advanced LiDAR-based system. If this turns out to be true, obstacle detection could become more precise, especially in low-light conditions. That's great news for those who fly in complex environments where precise navigation is key. Another improvement could be better AI-powered tracking. Features like Active Track and Return to Home are expected to be even more refined, making the drone easier to control and safer to fly. We're also expecting improvements in transmission range and signal stability. DJI's OcuSync technology has continuously improved with each generation, and a stronger, more reliable connection could be on the horizon. However, one concern is whether these upgrades will demand more processing power. 
potentially affecting battery efficiency. Smarter sensors and AI-driven navigation are fantastic, but if they drain the battery faster, users might not get the extended flight times they're hoping for. The DJI Air 3 already impressed with its 46-minute flight time, giving pilots plenty of room to capture stunning footage without rushing. Now, leaks hint that the Air 4 might take things further, possibly pushing up to 50 minutes. That's a big deal for aerial photographers and videographers who rely on longer flights to get the perfect shot. More time in the air means fewer battery swaps, which can be frustrating, especially when filming in remote locations. But with every improvement comes a trade-off. A bigger battery could add weight, possibly affecting flight dynamics. Would that mean a slower or less agile drone? That's something we'll have to see. Another question is whether DJI will introduce a brand new battery system. If the Air 4 requires different, pricier batteries, Air 3 users thinking of upgrading might hesitate. Investing in all new accessories can be costly, especially when extra batteries are a must for long shooting days. If DJI keeps the same battery design or offers backward compatibility, that would be great. But if a new system is introduced, we'll have to weigh the benefits against the extra cost. So, when can we actually expect the DJI Air 4 to hit the market? If DJI sticks to its usual two-year release cycle, a late 20 to 25 launch seems likely. The leaks suggest the drone is well into development, which aligns with this timeline. But what about pricing? The Air 3 launched at $1,099, positioning it as a solid mid-range option. If DJI packs the Air 4 with bigger sensors, advanced LiDAR-based obstacle avoidance, and a longer battery life, we could see the price jump to around $1,200 or more. That starts creeping into high-end drone territory, making buyers question whether to stick with the Air Series or stretch their budget for a Mavic. If DJI finds the right balance of price and features, the Air 4 could be a standout option. But if the price climbs too high, it might make upgrading a tougher decision. Overall, the DJI Air 4 is shaping up to be an exciting step forward, with leaks hinting at big upgrades in camera performance, flight efficiency, and safety. A larger sensor could mean better low-light shots, making it an attractive option for photographers and videographers. Improved obstacle avoidance might make flying smoother and safer, giving users more confidence in tricky environments. And if the rumoured battery life extension holds up, longer flights without frequent swaps would be a huge win. But with every upgrade comes uncertainty. Will a better sensor and advanced processing push the price higher than expected? Will the new obstacle detection system truly outperform the Air 3s, or is it just a minor refinement? And what about battery efficiency? Will extra power demands cancel out the promised longer flight time? These are questions we won't have concrete answers to until DJI officially unveils the Air 4. For now, all we can do is wait and see. Those already flying an Air 3 might wonder if these changes justify an upgrade, while newcomers may be hoping for a solid mid-range option that doesn't break the bank. One thing's for sure, anticipation is growing and all eyes are on DJI's next move. So that's all about the DJI Air 4. Are these rumoured features enough to make you consider an upgrade? Let us know in the comments. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.